mommy's hurt, baby. Y'all, look at this. I know y'all tired of seeing my damn foot. <laughs> but I decided, hold on, y'all. Let me put the focus. Hold on. Get it focus. Yeah, so I decided. Cause look at this. Look at this, y'all. This looks crazy. I decided I'm going to that nail salon. So today is the day. I'm literally about. Hi, baby. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I decided that today is the day I'm going to go over there. And um, so, yeah, I decided today is the day Mommy, that I'm going to go Mommy, to the nail salon and I'm going to speak to the manager and I'm going to ask Mommy. them to reimburse me my Mommy. entire. I know you already washed your hands, baby. I'm going to ask them to reimburse me every single thing that I paid that is the full 120. I pay for me, my mom, and the girls. I want the entire thing back for this inconvenience or I will be taking legal action. Um, Y'all know my sister works in the medical field so I sent her pictures of my foot. My foot has been bothering me. I have been recording like every day telling you guys my foot has been bothering me. It looks like it's bothering me. Like I've been putting everything on it to try to help it and I may have to go to the doctor. Um, But yeah, so I don't even want first of all i didn't even receive my full services I, if y'all go back to that vlog that's the same um time when i was telling you guys i paid for um the pedicure and massage and i didn't get a massage and then everybody has been telling me for the last few days that they were not even supposed to be using that instrument on my foot so just that alone like you're illegally using something on my foot and now we see why the location of it like why would you even be grading that area of my foot anywhere anyways because there is no callus on the top of your foot like the skin like y'all know what i'm talking about like there's no callus it's not even the bottom of my foot it's literally like the top top like area and i don't like how they handle me no one apologized i still gave a tip still get i didn't give a tip to him but i did tip my mom's person which she didn't even speak up when she knew he not did not render full services to me, but it is what it is. I won't ask for the tip money back. It is she can keep that. But I do want my 120 back. Or I'm gonna have to move forward. And yeah, so I'm gonna record. I'm not gonna show nobody's face or nothing like that. Just so I can have um for my records and see how they handle this. Cause I just feel like this is just going on way too long. Like I got my feet done. I gotta go back and look at the actual date, but I got, we got our feet done. I think like last Friday, if I'm not mistaken, like last Friday is Friday again, and my foot still feels the exact same way that it did, like that day. Like I'm getting in the shower and I have to keep my left foot out of the water because the water pressure hurts this. It's like, this is not, no. Okay guys, I'm not gonna put the business's name out there. I'm trying to do the right thing and just give them the bit of the doubt that they're gonna do the right thing. But I will be calling the police and filing a report because my foot really bothers me. Like, it's crazy. So, let's hope it goes well. Hello. Um, I need to speak to a manager. Uh, she wants to be a Situations right now. Who's uh, the person in charge right now? Yeah. How are you? Um, we can speak in the front away from the customers. Yes, so I came in last Friday and um, I actually have an infection on my foot. Um, the guy who did my nails, which I did film a report, he used a grater on my foot, which is actually not even within standard code for Georgia Nail Salon to use anymore but um, I did pay full price. However, I have a really bad infection, as you can see, and it looks really bruised. Um, I did pay in full for my services, and I paid, which I did release a tip. However, being that no one ever even apologized for the situation, I did not even get the services that I asked for and paid for in full, and now I have an infection. I have to keep wearing open toe shoes so that I don't press anything against it. It is very aggravated and it's getting worse. So the only thing I'm asking for is to be reimbursed for what I paid last Friday. Uh, can you sit and wait for the manager? I don't know. Um, how long will she take to um come? Okay. Y'all, so I'm trying to just keep my composure. I really don't want to have to escalate this because 
Like, I don't like confrontation. I don't like having to deal with stuff like this, but I do know, like, I continuously let people get over on me, like, all the time, like, literally. And we having all the information to prove innocence, and I still choose, like, let's just let it go. Let's let it go. But letting stuff go does not help you out in life. Like, sometimes you have to speak up for yourself. Sometimes you have to defend yourself. And like I said, I don't even know why I parked my car, y'all. Where is my... Okay, y'all. Where did I park? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. But, yeah, so I don't want any mishaps with anything. But, and y'all know me. Y'all know, for the most part, a lot of y'all who really, truly support me, y'all know my character. I don't like having to even take it there if I don't have to. Like, it really takes a lot for me to be pushed. Like, I be sitting on stuff and still won't even, like, handle stuff the way... I really could. I don't even have the guy's face on my Instagram story. Like in the video I have, I don't want, I don't even have the guy's face on my Instagram story, but I for sure um had like a little clip um on my like cuz everything that I vlog does not make it to the um make it to YouTube. So certain things I clipped out, certain things that I was saying to my mom like I was clipping out because like I said, I like even you guys saying, "Oh, Keisha, just tell us who it is," which I, you know, it's not like I'm trying to keep it away from you guys, but also I have people who would, crazy people who would probably try to make the situation worse. Let me handle it and you know, I'm not trying to ruin anybody's business. I know mistakes happen. I'm a business owner myself, so I do try to show grace and mercy when I can. But just the fact that they did not apologize and I'm walking around with a, a infected foot is... Yo, so I decided, let me go get my car and go back to Einstein Bagel. But yeah, you guys, so like I said, hopefully this goes good. I just want my money back because this is, like, I've never had this happen at a nail salon, like, ever. Like, I, yeah, I have, and I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, go find a black nail tech. I go to a black nail tech. Um, I've been going to, like, as far as my nails are concerned, if you've been watching me, I started going to a black nail tech when I started with Lanise. Lanise, the only reason I don't even go to her anymore is because she's so freaking far out. She was good, had no issues in, at all, anything. Um, and she actually was a key. I don't know if she still is a key. I'm pretty sure she is. But um, she, she's she been a, like, she was a key for years. She actually came to my model casting call when I had one before. Like, I had vividly remember her when I saw her. Um, like, everything and when I, I remember I had posted on my Instagram does anyone know any nail techs and she had literally just started like that's the type of person I am like I could have easily a lot of people are like oh you're Keish Kaylee go to this do da 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 you got the money da 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 but I just really like helping other people and not to say I helped her with her business or anything I don't know if people came to her just because I went um I was just going just to support her in general like you you've been a, a supporter of me for all these years so I'm gonna put my money and I've support her and I pay her and I tipped her and yeah but like I said she was as far as location wise she was just out of the way so I was like okay I can't keep <laughs> making these long ass trips um no no shade Lanise if you watching this girl you live so damn far so that was the only reason but now I go to um Iman and I love her and uh, uh, but a lot of nail techs don't do pedicures so that is where the issue comes in because now I have to still go to the nail salons phenomenal but I can't even go and get my feet done right now because I can't soak my feet in the water like my like my foot really is bothering me that's why I'm starting to be nervous every time y'all saying like oh you may have to uh, I was hospitalized for a week and I'm like not to be funny but I'm headed that way the way my foot is like really feeling like I don't know what is going on like the skin isn't recovering as fast as I thought it would and it's just it's just really uncomfortable for me like even when I lay my foot like when I was sitting in the bed earlier this morning I had to like move my foot out the way and then the, uh, like and then I have kids who are constantly like stepping on my feet and you know Jory and her little walker be running into me y'all know how that is so it's just like okay y'all I mean, that's, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if she just wants to reimburse me for my service, would I just be okay with that and just let it go? And uh, that's why I, I got to pray about that before I get there. Because honestly, for this huge inconvenience, I cannot go get my feet done until my foot is completely healed. So now my toes, I mean, I just got my toes done, but when I'm even looking at like some of my nails, like they aren't even as... There's a lot of little in between little issues, and the I, I'm just like, okay, maybe I can just accept that and just call it a day. 
or at least half i think the low the lowest i'm gonna go is half i'm gonna definitely say i want full but if they do half i may just go ahead and accept it y'all this lady talking about stuff i can't understand what she was saying i thought she was saying you know i watch keisha and i'm keisha she don't know my name keisha so she she was asking me do i know the drink Waikisha, but I thought she said, You know, I watch Keisha, right? And I'm like, Oh, you do? <laughs> and she's like, Uh, no, no, I don't know, I don't know nothing about that. And I'm like, I'm looking at her like, What? And I was like, Yeah, because you know, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all, she talking about some, What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> She said, I, no, 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 before before that, she said, I can tell my grandma, I, can, I told my grandkids to keep that shit the hell away from me. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and I was like, I said, why you don't like, um, what's wrong with my channel? And she was like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, you said you watch Keisha. And she's like, no, I said, did you, did you, you know about they, they drink these young folks you're talking about, the why Keisha? <laughs> I'm like, what? I was like, I ain't never, I've heard the song, Waikisha, but I didn't know it was a drink. The Waikisha, maybe it's like, they mix something with alcohol. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me, uh, look it up. Well, he was like, taste like, oh, it's W-A-U-K-E-S-H. Thank you. You too. They get it right. I'm pretty sure they get it. Have a great day. I'm pretty sure they did it right. It'll be my my mistake if I ain't look. Cause I ordered three eggs on the side for the girls, and then my stuff. This smoothie. Let me go ahead and try this out right now. Into the thick of it. It's definitely. I like it. I like it. I like it. But my favorite smoothies, like strawberry banana smoothies, is when I can taste a little bit of the banana chunks. I don't know what that is about that for me. I love banana. Some people don't like banana, but I love those little banana chunks. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this race. Okay, guys. Part two, it's been a few hours, it's about four o'clock. So the manager should be here, she had no issues. I got a verbal, a video from my sister that was sent. Y'all, this man is literally, she's literally playing games. She saw me and she is literally like doing everything possible then coming to see me. Yeah, so I know you remember me from last week when I came in and the guy um, cut my foot. So I'm having issues with my foot and my sister is, she works in the medical field and she said my foot is infected. So you can go to the doctor and give me the bill. I just want to get a refund for it. don't go for a refund. If, if something happens on your they cut your feet, and you can go to the doctor and give me the bill. We pay back the bill for you. So you're just gonna pay the bill back, mm -hmm. which will probably be much higher than me asking. The insulin paper you don't worry. Okay, don't you're worry. Get, yeah, get insulin. You can go to the doctor and give me the bill. Okay, well. Give me the number of a doctor. We can talk to them and 
get for the Instagram company they pay for you. Okay. And then moving forward, I just want you all to know, like, you all have to apologize when you guys do something to a customer. I never got an apology from nobody from getting my foot cut or not even getting my services rendered. Because of the last time you come with too many kids, they but, I pay for, but I paid I, I for know, my kids. You pay for your kids, but they yeah. get too loud, but they, you know it's... But I paid. Kids, I know you pay it, but they, yeah. you know it's... Some kids they move around or something. They but the kids weren't the issues. It was me that was. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. You can tell me by the last time you come, uh -huh. you run around. They, 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 you know, they can do the good job when you come with the kids or something. Okay. So but I now if they get they get um, like touch you and yeah. sorry so about that, but you can go to the doctor and. What happens, you tell they get infected or something, you can give me the real the company that pay for you. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. Let me sit down real quick so y'all can see my face. I'm, I came outside. Whew. Okay, y'all. So let me, let's get some clarity here. She says, I don't have no problem. Okay, cool. I'll go get the doctor bill. I, I'll bring her the bill. Um, and that'll be that. But what my issue still is, I had to t tell you to apologize. Like you seem annoyed. And if I would have been filming her reaction when she saw me, cause they literally when I walked in, the girl who was sitting down from earlier, literally looked at her and started speaking another language of course. And then she looked like before I even told the other girl who approached me to ask me what I wanted, they were already speaking about me. It's okay, cool. Then she's like trying to, figure out like act like she's dealing with other customers instead of if they're telling you oh she came in earlier with the issue blah 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 you should have been like let me make a beeline to this girl let me go rectify the, the issue as a as a business owner but she didn't do that still did not even cause a scene and I still didn't cause a scene like I still didn't cause a scene and then for you to tell me because I brought my kids first of all my kids were not loud the girls, if, even if you all look at that post, now, one thing I can say was um, the girls did get, keep getting up after, um, before their feet were done, they kept getting up out of their seat and coming by me because they don't understand that concept that they're supposed to sit down in a chair, but they weren't bothering anyone. Secondly, I paid for their services and I tipped you guys for each individual, well, except for my person who did me. But the girl who did the girls, the, the lady who did the girls and my mom, she was tipped properly for dealing with kids, which I would always do whenever people are dealing with kids or just in general, I tip well. But you're telling me because my kids were here pretty much because they weren't loud, they just kept getting up. Like, oh, you couldn't say sorry for your employee cutting my foot and literally causing a whole freaking infection. Like my foot is turning purple on the outside of the infection. <sighs> okay guys so it's two days later um my vlog is like 18 minutes long and i'm like let me just come and give a little follow-up i had talked about it a little bit the next day of what happened but i was like let me come and just end the vlog right because it's already 18 minutes and i still have a lot of footage so i was like i'll just tell y'all what happened since it's all a part of this vlog um so the good news is i was able to get my money back but yeah, I was able to get my money back, y'all. They they tried to play me crazy. And once I left and started playing the, the footage back for myself, telling the story, and paying attention to what was being said to me, y'all heard this. Like, I literally told her that you did, your nail salon did something outside of code. Not once, because me as a business owner, if you, like, anything that's in my policy, I'm going to bring up what, what, what the policies are. They didn't not one time, or she didn't rather, not one time say, oh, no, ma'am, before you start going there, this is within the Georgia code, and here's the proof, blah, 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 blah. You literally say, oh, your kid, like, she really, if somebody would have been just listening on this conversation, like, you guys just heard, you guys would have thought, like, the girls were screaming to the top of their lungs or something, and just, or, like, talking loudly, back and forth or whatever it is and even if they were even if they were if you don't want customers of a certain age then you should not service customers of a certain age once you decide that you're going to service kids then you're saying as a business you're accepting kids and what kids do which like i said they weren't even yelling 
or talking loud. Now, like I said, I will give her credit of saying like the girls were getting up. Now, I, I'm never gonna say, oh, my, my kids didn't. No, they, they were getting up. But they, that was kind of like halfway through. Cause I look back at the, I was like, let me go back and look at the footage of that weekend and actually see what part of my service did they actually get up. And I literally went back and looked at the footage and I was so annoyed when I timed when they got up out of their seat because I was like halfway done with my half ass job when they actually got up and was like, oh, let me go over there to mommy. And they literally got up, came over to me with my water bottle and that was that. He was the, he was done because he didn't do much of nothing. He was dang on there. He was on about to really start my polish by the time they got out and I had I've got gel on my toes so I'm just like what is she talking about like they were not just loud kids like everyone in the salon was still able to get their nails done without being disturbed by my kids being there other than physically seeing them get up and walk to their, their mother but their kids and like I said I tip for that but that has nothing to do with your employee literally grating my foot at the top of it and causing an infection like what what are you talking about like that don't even have anything to do with it and then saying oh i'm gonna i'm gonna um when i thought like once i left i thought about like what she was saying she was gonna pay the bill then i was like so does that mean she wants me to pay the bill and then show her the receipt of me paying the bill and she's gonna like pretty much reimburse me which means technically i still i'm still not getting reimbursed from my nail appointment i'm just getting compensated to go to another appointment that i shouldn't have had to go to in the first place like all these different variables start playing in my head y'all so yeah i just i had to handle the situation accordingly and i was able to get my money back because i was not about to accept that you know this that was just ridiculous and then you didn't even bring you didn't even say i'm sorry until i said to you like hey you know i don't appreciate that you guys didn't at least say sorry Oh no, she was like, oh my bad, I'm so sorry. No, she says, oh, but on that day, your kids is, what? My kids, are you serious? Like, are you crazy right now? Like they were paying customers. Like they were paying customers. Their mother paid for them to be here. Whatever y'all, but I was able to get it back. I, and thank y'all for holding me accountable and saying that I should have opened up my mouth because I should have handled it that day. I shouldn't even walk out without saying like hey i'm gonna pay for these three but um i'm not paying for my services or whatever i would have done to handle it that day but moving forward i gotta do better like i, I gotta do better 